Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you a huge deal shopping haul unboxing. If you're new to my channel, my name is Renee. I do videos on luxury shopping, eye candies, unboxings, reviews, and comparisons. If that's something that interests you, consider subscribing to my channel to join my little family. I would love to have you back. So let's start with this huge bag. So if you are familiar with Dior, I'm sure you can tell that this is a holiday season packaging from last year which is 2020 I was so amazed by the holiday packaging like the little star hanging here and all the little details this is just like an artwork I got this in 2020 but for some reason and also because of COVID I left it in my family's place so I wasn't able to get it back until recently and that's why I'm unboxing it so late right now and here is the bag that I got. It is so small, right? I'm sure many of you can tell what it is. Let me show you. Ta -da! This is the mini Lady Dior in lotus pink color. It is actually like a iridescent pink color, so it looks pretty shiny. Um, in different lights and of course in the sunshine it is such a cutie it is just so beautiful I absolutely love the square shape I just feel like this is so cute and so elegant if you watch my shopping vlog video which was over a year ago I tried on the mini size and also the small size which is the ABC Dior the mini size comes with a chain strap which I will show you later but then the ABC Dior comes with a wider strap and you can also choose the monograms but for me I feel like the mini size fits my style and my personality better than the ABC Dior and I don't plan to use this bag as an everyday bag this is just like an occasional bag and like an evening bag for me so I don't really care about how many times that I will use it this is the champagne gold hardware and it has the Dior charms hanging here um, on the back of this leather piece it says Christian Dior I really really love the details here inside it has a small fabric here just to protect the leather and it opens like this it has the paper to hold the shape it comes with a chain strap it has a small piece of leather in the middle but then on both sides this is the chain strap so you feel more comfortable when you wear it over your shoulder or cross body they have some kind of weight to it so it does feel very substantial inside it looks like this it's just a very very simple design but you can see the Christian Dior logo in the middle and there is a zipper pocket I think can fit some cards or cash there but honestly I don't plan to put anything there just because I feel like it's not easy to get access to and I don't want to open the flap too much because it's going to crease eventually my essay recommended me to attach the chain strap on this side instead of this side because it has some charms here if you put the chain strap on this side they might scratch it it's just so beautiful with the chain strap and I will show you guys the modeling shots for your friends I am 5'3 or 162 cm well again really love the chain strap and this is one of the reasons that I decided to go for the mini size instead of the ABC Dior because I got it last year so the price was 3500 and right now it retails for 4300 which is really crazy right i also wanted to share with you guys how i saved some money i bought this excess fifth avenue because i'm based in new york and my essay recommended me to send it to another state so i gave her my friend's address which was in new jersey and she mailed this back to new jersey and she said that will be tax free i was very lucky to save about 300 dollars on tax so if you're also located in new york and you want to save some money you can also ask your essay to ship it to another state 
So the second thing I wanted to show you guys is in this little bag It also has a little star here which is so cute I'm sure many of you have seen what I got recently on my Instagram If you're interested, check out my Instagram at reneas.liu Which is the same as my YouTube channel's name I post a lot of photos of my luxury collection and my outfits there And I post almost every single day It opens like this it is the Tilly's. This is from the Tarot collection. So right now it looks a little bit wrinkly because I wrap it um, on the handle of my mini Lady Dior and also on my Coco handle. I'm sure many of you have seen it on my Instagram. So one thing that I wanted to recommend to you guys is the crease release. This is just like a spray. You can use it on your blouses, shirts, pants, and also on these Tilly's. So let me show you guys. You just need to spray it and I will show you that all the wrinkles will go away in just a few minutes. So I'm going to leave it here for a few minutes and we'll come back later. Another one is in another collection which is like a gray one because I wanted to use it on my Birkin and I will show you a photo on the screen I just feel like they are such a perfect match if you have a Birkin or Cali in the gray shades I think you can get the exact same one that I got this kind of gray just goes with everything next up let me show you what's in this box I'm sure from this shape you can tell that it's a pair of shoes this is the dust bag that it comes with and I got it from a fashion file so it also has a dust bag from fashion file these are the Jadio kitten meal this is the velvet material in navy blue color isn't it so beautiful and so shiny oh my god and i really really love the pointy toe details it is not like completely pointy toe it's like a little bit square shape on the side you can see the little bow here and jadio logo all around it on the website it says that it is in excellent condition but when i got it i was pretty surprised because they still look brand new I would say on the kitten heel you can see there's no wear and tear at all this is made in leather I can tell the quality is really really good I got them with a discount so with tax it was less than 800 so I feel like it is still like a pretty good deal I've never had any shoes in this type of material so I thought I would just give it a try and at the bottom you can see the little star here absolutely love the details next let me show you what's in this little box this is actually a gift from my friend it has a lot of wrapping paper inside and it's in this little bag so this is the Dior saddle car holder i really really love this print i wanted to get something in this print for almost two years since they started to become very popular again but i just never put a trigger i like the little d ring here and on the back it has a slot that you can put some card here the bottom and the side is made of leather here is one slot and here is a bigger slot so you can put some cash, cards, or a little bit of coins in it. I'm so happy to got this little cutie and I will start to use it and share with you a wear and tear update later this year or sometime next year. So after a few minutes, it still feels a little bit wet but pretty much 90% of the wrinkles are gone. Highly, highly recommend this crease release spray i'll put the link of the spray in the information box down below so you can check it out if you're interested this is the first time that i ordered something from dior.com and i wasn't sure how their packaging is so i thought i would just show you guys the whole packaging so here is the receipt that they will put it on the top and it has some wrapping paper has the ribbons and this is the thing that I got it looks like this 
I got the pearl earrings. I like the CD logo here. It has the small pearl on the front and a bigger pearl on the back. I know they are not the real pearl, but I really love the design. I tried them on when I went to the store a few months ago and at the time it was 470, but right now it was over 500. But I was still thinking about them, so I was like, let me just purchase them and try them on again. Comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Do you guys think I should keep them or not. I think this type of size is good for both daily use and occasional use. I'm still thinking about them. I still cannot justify to spend over 500 on fashion jewelry. So comment down below which one is your favorite and let me know if you think I should keep all of them. And if you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!